for one minute. Madam Speaker, I rise today to recognize September as National Suicide Prevention Month. Every year, close to 800,000 people die by suicide, leaving their family and friends to navigate the tragedy of loss. This is one death every 40 seconds. Studies by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show that suicide rates are rising, and suicide is the 10th largest, 10th uh, leading cause of death in the U.S. for all ages. This important month is a time to share resources and stories in an effort to shed light on this stigmatized topic. It is beneficial to learn and pay attention to the warning signs of suicide and periodically check in with friends and family members, especially during these challenging times. Additionally, talking about suicide in an open and caring way can help those who are having suicidal thoughts. As the isolating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic continue to grip our world, it's imperative we take our physical and mental health seriously. I encourage everyone to educate themselves about suicide and the patient-centered resources available so we can help protect those in our communities, friends, and loved ones. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield